So, hello, uh, welcome to my Tales from the Tent. Um, just wanted to do a little bit about fractal theology for a moment. Um, thing is, fractals are seen everywhere in nature. We can see fractals in storms, we can see fractals in flowers, we see fractals in mountains. We see fractals in the way that our lungs form. We see fractals in the way that viruses spread across the world. It's a fundamental part of how creation functions. Or at least a fundamental part of how we understand the way that creation functions. For many years, uh, mathematics have tried to understand the world, and we've got so far, but always had limitations. We still have limitations, but fractals uh, and chaos theory take us to a whole new level of understanding the world, the universe. And one of the things that I think is really important about fractal theology is acknowledging that this is God's creation, that if we are to understand God better, then we need to understand to the best of our ability the way that God works. If we ignore the fractal nature of things of this world, then the church and faith will get left behind as science moves forward. I think it's vital that we recognise the fractal nature of the things that have already been said and done in a good way in the church. The fractal nature of what Jesus has already said. The way that we are called to repeat, to iterate, to echo his patterns in our lives. I think it's also really important that we recognise where our fractal structures are breaking down, where they are missing essential parts, where we have copied patterns badly or copied them in the wrong way for the wrong reason, copied the effects rather than the meaning behind them where we perform rituals rather than understanding the purpose behind those rituals. And these are things that are warned against even by Isaiah. God says, I hate your new moon rituals. Verses from the Bible remind us that God gets annoyed with ritual without the meaning behind it. Fractal theology is about delving into that meaning behind the rituals. It's about digging deeper into the purposes underneath the stories and the sayings and the parables of Jesus. It's about recognizing that there is a God who will carry us through many more millennia as we become more technological, more scientific, as we understand this world better. The God who was always there will still be with us, but we will be learning new things about that God as we recognize how the old fits with the new and how the new fits with the old. The same essence was always there, but our interpretations have not always been as sharp as they should be. We need to be able to model from the pattern to the effect, and from the effect back to the pattern. We need to be able to look at what we're doing in the world and ask, does this follow the pattern of the God whom we worship? And so often we are so far from the mark. So often. So often we are bound up in our rituals, so often we are bound up with our rules.
So often we are bound up with what we think is right, when we need to be seeking what is good. Okay, thanks for listening. More later. I'm writing lots of stuff about the fractals. Um, a lot of it's unfinished, but it's getting there. Um, so I'm not really presenting that on my videos at the moment. Uh, so what I'd be really interested in is if you have any questions, any thoughts about uh, this fractal idea, um, share your questions and your thoughts uh, down below. And I will try and respond and get some conversation going about fractal theology. Thank you. Good night. See you soon.